Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run your PC project downward from anywhere, whether it is GitHub or Cordial. So first of all, we need to download the PC project and then we need to run our PC project. So here you can see this is a PC project in GitHub and I'm going to download this. So in order to download this, I need to click on Cork and here you can see we have a download zip option. So if I now click on download zip, it will download it zip file over here you can see it is downloading and the download is complete so right now let's go to the download location so if i now click on this folder icon it will take us to the download location so i'm just going to cut this from here so ctrl x or just right click on your mouse then click on this cut icon once i click on it it will be cut so we need to paste it in the AC dot folder so let's go to our local disk C then I'll go to the XAM folder inside XAM we have the AC docs folder so we are going to paste it inside the AC docs folder so we just paste it over here so there you guess this is the zip file so first of all we need to extract this zip file so I just click on it then right click and then here you can see extract all option or what you can do is that you can click here show more option then you will also see the extract all option as well just click on extract all then you need to choose the location obviously the location will be inside the hdocs folder so we'll just remove this and then click on extract and then you can see the zip file is extract so right now if we go inside there you will see a lot of file so first of all in order to run it we need to look for the dot sql file so here you can see this pc project has a database and the database there is here you can see pc underscore ecom dot sql so we need to create a database the same name as this sql so let me just first open the xamp over here just search for xamp and you need to open the xamp control panel then start the apache then mysql then let's just minimize this and let's go back to our browser and we need to open xamp here so in order to open xamp you need to go to this address on to 7.0.0.on slash dashboard then press enter then you need to click on psc my admin over here once you click on you will see that psc my admin dashboard so our database name will be PSP underscore econ dot SQL. So normally in the this SQL file name and database name will be same. But if you want to check or if you want to make sure the database name, what you can do is that you can just open it using any code editor. Let me just open it using Visual Studio Code. So in the Visual Studio Code, I'll click on File, then I'll click on Open Folder, and our project was in New Volume C. I mean local disk C. Sam docs and this is the project this is project master i'll select it then click on select folder and it open over here so in order to check the database name what you need to do is that you need to look for database.psp or tv.psp in the project and if it is not available just go to any other psp file and then look for the database connection so here you can see here is the database connection mysql i connect and the database name is psp underscore eco so you need to use the exact name you have in the port as a database so we can just copy this then let's go back to our browser and here in the pc my admin you need to click on this new option click on new and here you can see we have a create database option here so keep the database name which is psp underscore eco then click on create and there you can see a database is created so in this database, we are going to import this SQL file. So for the ordinary crew is that click on this database, then at the top, you will see this import option, click on import. Then here you can see choose file option, we need to click here. Then we need to go to the SQL file location, we will go to local link C, SAM, HDDocs, then our project, which is this one and there you can see we have the sql file just select it and then click on open over here 
and there you can see p is equal underscore ecom dot s values over here so in order to import int we need to go down and here you can see we have the import button just click on import and there you can see all the table is imported in this database so let me just click on the database again and there you can see we have three table over here right now so let's run our PHP project. So in order to run the PHP project, here you can see our folder name is PHP underscore project dash master. So here we need to say localhost slash we need to give our folder name which is PHP underscore project dash master. And if we now press enter, they can see our project is right now running. There you go. And if I click on products, there you can see everything is working properly. We can click on register and login. There is no issue. So this is how you can run your PC project, download it from GitHub, Google Drive or any other places. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.